here as a smokescreen from the banker bailout. They need this here as a pretext to roll the TSA out on the streets with the new uh, you know, spy on your um, spy on your neighbor uh, programs uh, that are going on all over the place. And so they want to have the big prize be totally brought down. That's our once free republic. Remember, 90 plus percent of all this Homeland Security training behind the scenes was always about gun owners, landowners, people that can skin a buck, run a trot line, uh, people that are gardening, uh, people that don't like war, people that don't like GMO. Anybody on left, right or center who's awake to anything is the enemy behind the scenes. I've been telling you that for a decade. Now they've come out public and said it's no longer Al Qaeda. It's white people. It's white people. And they have all these TV ads where all the terrorists are white. The minorities report them. So they've already demonized and gotten white folks to go along with giving up their rights because, you know, oh, it's the brown people supposedly that are going to get us. That's that tribalism, that racism. Now they're shifting and going to all the other folks and saying, no, it's whitey. They're going to get you. So basically everybody's a terrorist. And I told you all this was coming. And I told you with Obama falling like a shooting star and imploding and burning down and his own party calling for him to step down and not run again, that I said he, he's got a month or two. I said this last week. I said he's got a month or two for a false flag or a new war, some big crisis to make him look strong, as all his advisors are telling him. He's got a month or two max, or they're going to go ahead and remove him. I mean, I know what's in their playbook. I said they could also do a failed assassination attempt. I've said assassination attempts are the false flag as well. We even wrote articles about it earlier this year and last year. Paul Watson pointed out yesterday predicting this type of garbage. So notice you're hearing about assassination attempts now against the Saudi uh, you know, U.S. ambassador. Now, when we come back from break, I want to tell you about TSA suicide squads. You heard me right, TSA suicide squads. I want to tell you about that. That's a shocking term. That's actually what they are. So we have some breaking news uh, on TSA uh, suicide squads. Now, when I came up here yesterday, I have amazing military sources. And then I'll also put it out open source uh, to the general public. And I know that Israel has been saying last month they probably are going to go into Iran and start the bombardment. The bunker busters have been shipped over there, the cluster bombs to knock out their airfields so they can't launch retaliatory strikes on Israel. Those have all been delivered. More U.S. troops have been rotating and massing in Kuwait and other areas out of Iraq as the next staging ground to go into Iran because they don't want to launch an attack if it's needed into Iran, into strategic ports and other areas out of Iraq because then that would elicit those old feuds. It'll, it'll be out of Kuwait and other areas. And of course, U.S. forces wouldn't go into the whole of Iran. They would go in and hold the, the uh, mountains, uh, the, uh, the, the, the passes uh, over uh, some of the different uh, straits that are needed. Uh, like Hormuz to bring the oil back and forth or to remove and, and dredge that out of the Iranians, sink a bunch of ships in there like they've said they're going to do. Uh, there's also going to be the need to launch out of Kuwait and other airfields attacks on Iran. So all of that is going on. And, the, and you've got the anti-Shiite uh, uh, Saudi Arabia totally behind this saying, we want the response. We want it to be launched. Now we've got Obama says he's going to have a tough response on Iran's role in alleged plot. Now, again, this is already admitted to be a fake plot. But the military, the brass, just like Fox Fallon knew, I said three, four years ago, it was almost five years ago, when they ordered the head of CENTCOM to attack Iran and claimed that PT boats out of Iran had tried to attack them. We later learned he knew that Cheney had boats painted up out there. It wasn't just he was Cheney was wanting it, as New Yorker magazine reported. They staged some boats coming up saying we're going to blow you up to try to then order Fallon to attack Iran. Fallon refused, had to resign. Not because the Pentagon doesn't like war, not because the Pentagon doesn't like opium out of Afghanistan, but because they know the politicians strategically are biting off more than they can chew. And that, and that this is going to get out of hand very, very quickly. And so 
That's why you now see and hear all these people, top terrorism officials, CIA people, Pentagon folks, military, all coming out and saying this whole plot is a fraud and a hoax because they realize how serious it is if Israel launches this attack. That's why Panetta came back 10 days ago, 11 days ago from Israel, and said Israel's totally isolated. They're getting ready to strike. KempUSA.org brings you pure camu berry powder. This revolutionary powder contains 50 times the vitamin C of an orange, mixes with any juice or liquid, has 227 servings per container, and is made from naturally grown camu berries, not chemically produced in a laboratory. Order camu berry powder today. Call 908-691-2608 or visit hempusa.org and see what our powder, seeds, and oil can do for you. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns, call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Hello, friends. Alex Jones here. You all know I've worked for years with Steve Shank and eFoods Direct. I have eFoods for my own emergency food supply. You know, Steve, life is different now for all of us, isn't it? Very different. People are using this great food to survive the present hurricane season, and we've already had $40 billion worth of damage from floods, storms, quakes, and droughts. And that's just the first eight months of this year. Natural disasters are newsworthy, but only touch a few of us Americans. The huge issue of the Greatest Depression is on everyone's mind. The unemployment, the loss of homes, lost businesses, and skyrocketing food costs are hitting every American. So everyone needs food security. Folks, this month you will get free shipping on every food order from eFoods Direct. That's right. Every order gets free shipping starting September 6th. Get stocked up with the best storable foods out there with eFoods Direct. And be prepared for any emergency before it happens. To take advantage of this special, call 800-409-5633 or go to efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. Optics Planet is calling all hunters, shooters, and outdoorsmen. It's time to gear up. As the best online retailer of rifle scopes, red dot sights, lasers, and other firearm accessories, Optics Planet has a special deal to offer GCN listeners. You may already know OpticsPlanet.com has the best selection of weapon lights, holsters, night vision, binoculars, and tactical gear on the planet. With incredibly low prices, free shipping on most orders, and USA-based phone support, Optics Planet is the online retailer of choice for discerning gun owners and outdoor enthusiasts. Featuring Loophole, Blackhawk, EOTech, Crimson Trace, Night Force, Trigicon, Surefire, over 700 top brands. For a limited time, head to OpticsPlanet.com slash GCN to get a free Streamlight Keymate, the world's most powerful keychain light with purchase. That's OpticsPlanet.com slash GCN or call 800-332-OPTICS right now to speak with an Optics Planet product specialist. 800-332-6784. Our rights as individuals to freely purchase dietary supplements over the counter are under constant attack. The globalists want to ban all supplements formulated after 1994. Governments are hoarding raw materials, affecting our ability to purchase these products at a reasonable price. Even organic foods are stripped of nutrients due to overuse of soil and compromised growing conditions. Storable foods are essential, but you also need to make sure you have the nutrients you need to stay healthy during emergencies. Go to survivalrx.com today and see the amazing line of storable supplements they have to protect the ones you love. The owners of survivalrx.com have been in sports nutrition for over a decade, and they realize the need for long-term storable vitamins. The result is a triple nitrogen flushing method, which allows these vitamins to maintain their strength for decades. Again, go to survivalrx.com. That's survivalrx.com. Incredibly jam-packed transmission lined up for you. Uh, Ray McGovern is coming up, former top CIA analyst, and he's saying the same thing we're saying. This is as phony as a three-dollar bill, or even more so. It's as phony as fake vomit you buy at the gag store. It is not real. It's as fake as pyrite 
uh, is compared to 24 karat gold. It is garbage. It is a hoax. Uh, he's going to be joining us over the hoax. Show is Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Schaefer. He's saying total hoax with FBI sources confirming it. Uh, we have Gerald Salente, who predicted they'd stage a new war as Obama imploded and the global depression came into place. He predicted that three years ago, as Bob Chapman, myself, and many others did. That's a default position for the globalist. Gerald Salente is joining us. And then Dr. Steve Pachenik. Uh, you can say what you want about Pachenik. He's obviously establishment. He tells you up front he represents Pentagon. Uh, he called me up yesterday. The phone rang like 10 times before I went and answered it because I was running on the treadmill. My wife came out and said, this just rang eight times. It rang two more times, so I answered it. And he's like, listen, they're, they're getting ready to launch a war. Israel's going to do it. I've got the sources, as you know. You know, Alex, I do you know important work, and I care about this country. And I want you to know that the different people in the intelligence organizations really appreciate you. And you know we're not all bad and don't want this war. So, uh, I mean, look at it. You've got Bush administration people coming out of the woodwork. Clinton people coming out. You've got uh, Pentagon people coming out. Uh, you've got people that wrote the book on black ops coming out. You got Ray McGovern coming out because the green light right now has been given. And then they just manufactured this story of, oh, look, uh, the used car salesman was going to do all this with the Iranian secret military. Now, people think, well, this is shoddy. Well, it was shoddy when they claimed that Manuel Noriega had kidnapped some college girls in Panama City at an American university there. Turned out it was a fraud, but back then there wasn't an, an Internet. It was a fraud of the WMDs. They got caught, didn't care. They don't care if they get caught. They just need an excuse at the time. But now their own people are coming out because it's more and more transparent. And also, the a lot of the establishment does not want to hit Iran. They know it's like Hitler turning in the middle of World War II east towards Russia or Napoleon doing it. It's biting off more than they can chew. And you had the former head of the Mossad two weeks ago uh, come out and say, do not attack Iran, Netanyahu. Do not do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. So it's not monolithic Israel wants this either. OK, this is really bad news. Even if you're an evil insider, you know, there's a lot of the insiders who don't want to be part of this because it's really bad. The Pentagon bucked Bush and Cheney on this. That's all come out now. Cheney admits in his memoir in my time that he wanted to hit Iran and the Pentagon and others didn't want to do it because the Pentagon is not a draft deferment guy like Cheney uh, or, or Bush, you know, getting out of the Air National Guard uh, or Obama or Hillary or any of these people. Or Netanyahu, for that matter. You know, his brother was a war hero, but not uh, not Netanyahu. Um, Netanyahu is only famous because his brother got killed in a commando raid, saving some hostages. The point is that this does not need to happen, and it's going to make oil prices explode. It's going to be really bad news. Now, I told you that I was going to tell you about TSA suicide squads. You heard me right. TSA suicide squads. I want to really try to get the, the TSA's attention uh, on this subject, so I, but I can't do it in the minute and a half I have left before we go to break. We're going to have Ray McGovern for one long segment, and then I promise uh, before this hour ends, I will tell you about the TSA suicide squads, and it's all hidden in plain view in today's USA Today. For some reason, my paper's cut a little bit, but uh, there it is. Uh, USA Today, dealing with the TSA. And if you're a radio listener, you're saying, what do you mean, there it is? Well, we're also streaming video via Skype up to prisonplanet.tv and simulcasting this entire radio slash TV show today uh, with InfoWars Live. That's what we call the 14-plus uh, year running uh, radio talk show in this time slot uh, is InfoWars Live. You call it Alex Jones Live. But I, I like InfoWars Live. And then we're back weeknights. 7 o'clock with a hard-hitting, super well-researched, very well-produced nightly news that is listener-supported at PrisonPlanet.tv. Mike Adams did a great job sitting in yesterday. I want to commend him. And I also want to thank Aaron Dykes for doing InfoWars Nightly News this evening. I have promised to go on the road more. I traveled around Texas last weekend to three different cities to end the Fed. Great job to all the folks that showed up there. I'm down here doing an investigative uh, research right now near the Texas border with Mexico. Uh, I'll leave it at that. 
uh, and I'm looking to start traveling around and speaking uh, as early as mid-November around the country. We'll be right back, folks. How do we turn the green light off for war?